they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots and the frowns. You can't hop on me. I know I'm not to be. Sure, they got over me. Hey, what's up, guys? We got a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest, Lou Castro. How you doing? How you? I'm all right, I'm all right. So, tell the people where you from. I'm from the Bronx, um, by way of DMV. Um, pretty much, yeah. So, from the Bronx. So, how'd you get your rap name? Or has that been your nickname? Um, it was from, like, oh, man, this is a bad thing. I don't even want to say because... Battle rappers be <laughs> having angles, but um, I kind of got my name from back in, you know how like niggas used to get light? Okay. Um, I kind of got my name from that, pretty much. Like That's pretty dancing? much where my name came from, yeah. Like a long time ago, like when I was like so maybe 14. So you was 14. a dancer? Not really, though. Not really? I was nice, though. They I inspired you? I was fake nice. You? I was like, fake nice. What, nice. So you went from dancing to music? Nah, I was always doing music. Um, okay. There was just... You know, you live in the Bronx, like, you, it's um, part of the culture. Like, everybody was dancing. Like, literally everybody was dancing. Even if you ain't know how to dance, you was dancing. <laughs> so, like. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, so what's your earliest memory of music? Like, what do you remember, like, as a kid? How'd you get into it? Remember your first time in the studio? Like, what? Um, my earliest memory of music was when I decided to rap. I remember the exact moment I decided to rap. The exact moment I decided to rap was in fifth grade. This dude in my class, he was in the lunch line, <laughs> and he was rapping. Okay. And he was rapping some raps that I heard from, like, it was an actual song. Like, he was rapping somebody raps that I knew the song. I'm okay. like, and, 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 and everybody was going crazy, like, yo, you nice, da da da, -da. I'm like, that made his raps. And like, I, I kind of vibe, everybody started laughing at him. And then he was like, man, you can't do no better. And I was like, yes, I can. And he was like, rap song. And I ain't rap nothing. So um, then I was like, all right, I got you. So after, I went back to the classroom and I started so rap. I started writing. To and that's when I was like, all right. I think I got in trouble because I was writing curse words in my book. But <laughs> so um, so but like, so I guess it was the wanting to do better mm -hmm. that kind of like inspired it, like wanting to prove yourself. Yeah, that's that's always been a driving factor for me. You know, like proving people wrong. Do you think you know that's I mean? a good or bad thing to have, especially when it comes to music? Um, I think it's I think it's all about how you channel channel it. Mm -hmm. Like if you you know if you t you could take a negative, you know somebody say something bad, you know what I mean? Like oh you can't do this, and you do it out of spite. Like I don't do anything out of spite, you know what I mean? I don't harbor hate, but I do get a like a, a kick out of being able to prove people prove wrong. You know wrong. what I'm saying? Like that's always been a thing of mine, and like that kind of actually kept me motivated to to go hard with rapping and music in general. Okay. All right, so when you was growing up, who was some artists, artists you was listening to? Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie, I listen to damn that everything. Like, 50 was always my favorite rapper. Okay. Um, I'm G-Unit and don't nobody know. But, um, okay. now he's playing. <laughs> 50 was always my favorite rapper. Uh, uh, my favorite rapper since high school has been, always been J. Cole. Um, and I say like my music is heavily R and B influenced. Okay, so, like um, cool. It's heavily, it's you know, it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a, a specific, Person. class, yeah, a specific class of my music. Okay. It's heavily influenced by a lot of different things. Like Chris Brown, my favorite artist of all time. Okay. Um, I think he, he the goat. Yeah, and, um, I agree. Yeah, so I would say, like Cole, Fifty. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, lyrical people in a sense. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. So, um, so being that you know it was a pandemic, how did that like affect your music, or did it? Um, I think the pandemic actually helped. It helped me with my brand in general, like not just like um, as far as music, because during the pandemic, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I battle rap. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're gonna get to that. yeah, like it, it kind of, I kind of got my biggest looks during the pandemic, like with like isolated battles, you know what I mean, quarantine battles, and mm -hmm. that kind of widened my brand, which gave my music, like, you know, when more eyes is on me, it kind of gave me a chance to showcase my music a little bit better. So it kind of actually helped, you know what I mean, because we stuck in the house, we ain't doing much, 
what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> so, so, cause a lot of people say that they lost like motivation or creativity during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the case for you. I was prepared for like the future. Like I'm always <laughs> thinking ahead. So I know the way America works, they're not gonna let us stay locked up forever. It's like mm -hmm. this world, this world, like this country will go bankrupt if we was gonna stay locked up forever, you know what I'm saying? So um, I always knew eventually, even when I was talking to my late, like, you know, my guys, 1520, I was always letting them know, like, yo, we need to be prepared for next summer. When we started, I was like, we need to be prepared for next summer because next summer is when things are going to start opening Looking up before up. we even yeah. knew when it was going to open up. Yeah. But I knew we was going to stay in it for a year. So I was always thinking ahead, like, when this opened back up, we need to be in motion. So okay. it never really, you So know, you, you're nothing. prepared. Mm -hmm. for outside all right so yeah we've seen that you was featured on url tv um how did that come about um all right so when i graduated high school um i was having a hard time keeping my brand alive without school and stuff like that mm. so um a couple of my homies you know we used to watch battle rap or whatever and we was all still rapping and somehow like we we, we ended up throwing an event we ended up throwing a battle rap event where like all my homies was just battling each other. And we didn't realize that we was gonna bring that big of a crowd. We <laughs> bought a big crowd and we was like, yo, this is something we could like get money off of. Yeah. So I decided to do the battle rap thing just to keep my face and my name out there yeah. until like the music started taking off. Okay. But next thing you so know, you like- So you didn't plan on doing it for a long time? Nah, no way. Okay. No way, I was just doing, I was doing it just as something to keep my face visible online, okay. you know what I'm saying? While I was working on the music or figuring out a way yeah. to make the music take off and and then next thing you know i'm on smack mm -hmm. <laughs> it just ended up like that so you know it, it, it it's kind of dope though because i really like doing it but you know music has always been top priority for me yeah i was gonna say which one did you like more battle rap or traditional rap music music like music period absolutely like not just traditional rap because i wouldn't just classify myself as a as a rapper like you know what i mean like i i like to make good music so you're an artist Artists, okay, got it. So, what's the difference between writing for battle rap? Well, is there a difference in writing battle rap style and writing a regular song? Absolutely. Okay. A lot of people may think it's not, but I think it is because I think that's why a lot of battle rap artists don't really get far in the music scene because they don't know how to differentiate. Yes. They don't know how to separate the two. A lot of and and, and what's crazy is I'm not gonna say they don't know how. They're not willing to. They're not willing. willing. I don't think they. I don't. I think it's just a not. Some about. people just have nah. Some people just have this mind state where they like, I'm this kind of rapper, and I refuse to sacrifice yeah. my art for. Because even if you think of the lyricalist rappers like Kendrick and things like that, they still make a regular song. But all right, you say all right, you. It's different though. Like the all right, what well, we could be considered. No, I'm saying they gotta um trans. All right, so think about this. What would be considered lyrical, in a song? Not. would not be considered lyrical in a battle okay. like i could say something that's like completely Complex. smooth and layered in a song but if i try to battle somebody with it it's gonna sound crazy you know what i mean like you like that was okay you know what i mean it's two different yes. worlds you got to be able to like understand like the guys who are considered lyrical and and regular making music okay. their kind of punches wouldn't resonate in battle rap you know what i'm saying because it's not it's not as, all right, I'll give you an example. Like Cassidy, Cassidy just had a battle. Yeah. And Cassidy is, he's, you know, he's one of the greatest punchline rappers of all time. Like if you yeah. think about battle rap, you probably think Cassidy. But Cassidy, oh, like in battle sorry. rap, he's having a hard time making a transition and figuring out what's, what's the difference between making a punchline rap song and a punch and battling. So it's a complete and total difference, like yeah. seriously. No, I get it's a difference. Mm -hmm. I just see that, like, some can do it and some can't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree. So, um, is that something that you're still learning, or do you feel like you got it semi-figured out, or...? Nah, I, I think right. I completely got it figured out. I feel like, like, when I make a song, I'm taking myself out of the battle rap, rap mind state okay. and then putting myself into music mode because also it's like music is a constant change of thing. So what was dope... 10 years ago mm -hmm. probably wouldn't be dope now you know what i'm saying so you gotta always keep your mind that you know you're always trying to stay amongst what's going on now you okay. know what i mean okay and um how would you describe your sound 
If you have to describe it, how would you describe it? I can't describe it in one word. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm serious. How like, many words do you need to describe your sound? Um, <laughs> all right. I'm trying to think of a word to, like, really describe it. But, like, it's it's wide range. A wide range of sounds. Like, all right, I have a, I feel like my, my range is, like, really really different from most because I can give you, all right, I got two songs. I can give you a song like My Day, which is more like, you know, R&B influence, you know what I mean? More, more singy kind of, I guess, you know what I mean? And then I can give you a, a rap song, you know what I mean? So I think my range is really wide, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. So um, how did you feel that your song Flood the City reached 50K views? Um, well, your music video. The video, the video, um, it, it did numbers because I feel like, well, one, um, shout out to the team, you know what I mean? We did a great, t- great job in marketing it, but um, definitely it's, it's, it's a very catchy song, very trendy. Um, I, think, I think more so is because, like I said, a lot of battle rappers don't know how to make a, a, like a record. Uh-huh. So I feel like the, the unexpectedness of that actually being a good song okay. is what carried it and like word of mouth too. Like okay. people would be like, yo, such and such actually make good music. <laughs> like no way. Like me telling you I make good music, you can be like, all right, dope, I'll check you out. But if you hear five other people tell yeah. you, yo, this is actually pretty good. So word of mouth you think is still important in 2021? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Like if I, t- like I said, like if I tell you I'm good, you be like, all right. Cause people think Instagram is the end of me Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so. People gotta be talking about you. If no one's yeah. talking about you, it don't really matter. Like I can, I can literally put my Instagram post on a million people's like feed, but a million people not gonna click on it. You know what I'm saying? You know how many times you be scrolling on Instagram and you see like these artists that's oh, like being promoted. Yeah. You like, who is this? Even if the song might be good, you like. Okay. You know, word of mouth <laughs> is very important. <laughs> okay, so how do you go about um, picking your beats? Like in the studio, like, why you um, pick them before them? You got a set producer, like. What, I, you... I I got I, I got a couple producers I'm dealing with, um, but the main guy I work with is also my engineer, B Will. Um, pretty much what we do is like we, you know, we get in the studio, and he'll throw a beat on, and like, depending on how I'm vibing with it, like I just be like, like why he like he'll throw on a beat that he's been working on, and if I'm vibing with it, I will like start. You know, coming no up with melodies. What vibe is it you look for? I, it's, I don't. It's all specific. I don't ever really have a specific vibe because he'll put on like so many different types of beats, and I think like from us working together, I know him since the fifth grade. Mm-hmm. So from us working together for so long, you know what I mean? Like I me, he, he kind of know what fits me, my sound. Okay. He know he know what kind of songs I would I would record something to. So from us working together so long, I think like he just come in there and play something if I think it's dope. I start working on melodies in my head and stuff like that, and then we'll bounce ideas off. I bounce ideas off of uh, the guys from the label and stuff like that, and then okay. we just go from there. Okay, so um, we seen that you got the skit with Capri. Um, mm-hmm. Is that something you want to get into more, like doing skits with comedians? Absolutely. Is there Absolutely. some comedians you're looking at right now? That's Absolutely. Funny. Who's making you laugh right now? <laughs> Yo, it's this dude from, I don't know if he's from Houston, but he be doing these skits in Walmart where he be like going up to people. Funny, funny, Mike. funny Marco. Funny Mike. Yo, Marco. is that his name? Funny Marco. Funny nah, it's Marco. Marco. Cause Mike is the. Yeah, the other yeah. dude. Yeah. Funny Mark. He is yes, hilarious, he's yo. Like he's bugged out, yeah. bugged out. But I would love to do some skits with him. Um, but nah, I, I'm I'm really looking to get into doing that. Um, um I I feel like. I feel like what, what gravi- gravitated people more towards me in battle rap is my personality. Okay. So um, I definitely, I'm, I'm looking to expand on that this year. Okay. Definitely. All right. So being that you, you know, upcoming artist, you're independent still, correct? Yes, ma'am. Is there any worries that you have about the music industry or like anything you're like worried about? Not really. Um, <laughs> I'm serious. Not really. More so because... Uh, I mean, that's good. Right? I feel like I feel like I've been doing this for so long, and now that it's actually moving, I feel like hey, God got a plan for everything. And I think if when when I felt like I was ready, 
I'd have probably made a lot of silly decisions. Okay, so you definitely feel ready. I feel mentally like I'm a little bit more stable, stable mentally, like you know, and prepared for for what kind of silly stuff can come. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not really worried too much, you know. I got a solid team around me, you know, some good guys around me, and I, you know, I think I think we got a, a good shot at doing this for real, for real. Okay. And um, what song do you feel like best describes you? Song that's out that people know to listen to. Right now, know, flood the news. city. That's best describes you. Flood the city, definitely. Um, that's what you're about to do. Nah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Flood, uh, yo, both of them kind of describe me like they're two different moods for real. Cause my day is more so about like where I am mentally right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My day is like you can't mess my day up. So like, pretty much where I'm at mentally is like I'm not gonna allow outside entities to disrupt what we got going on here. Yeah. But Flood the city is more of a feel good vibe. Like I'm letting you know like this is about to be that like. Yeah, speaking like, I, of that, like, so with the battle rapping, I'm sure people be angry after a battle. Do you ever worry that that will transpire into, like, real beef? No. But you're not really doing battle rapping still, are you? Yeah. You gotta still do something? Yeah, I mean, pay good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pay good, like, yeah, yeah, pay good, you know what I mean? To the, like, well, the music pay good, too, but, like, until it yeah. pay better, than, like, ten times better than battle rap, that's still a thing on the table, you know what I mean? Plus, okay. I'm on, I'm in the NBA of it, so... Yeah. Why not? It's still Smack good it marketing, there, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So do you have um, any upcoming features, any collabs on the way? Anybody you want I'm to actually have? looking into some collabs right now. Okay. Um, I don't want to say because okay. if I say, you know what I mean, it, it kind of takes away from the impact of announcing it might be. So um, I'm actually, we actually looking into some dope collabs. Okay. Um, I, I really want to work with some guys from the city, for real, for real. Like, you know, um, I feel like. New York, from the Bronx, Yeah, from New York, from New York. Period, like just in New York in general, you know what I mean? I, I really want to work with some people from the city. So um, I think we got some dope collabs coming. Okay, okay, okay. So do you have like a uh, estimation of when you want to drop a project? We dropping in August. August for sure? Yes, for sure. We dropping in August. Title um, already? Yeah, we got a title. Um, to make a long story short. Okay. Because um, it's not going to be that many songs. Um, so it's like EP project? Yeah, it's an EP. It's okay. an EP. It's not that many songs, so I'm trying to like, like I said, I got, a, I feel like I got a lot of different vibes. Okay. So I want to like, we we were really going through it trying to like, cause we got a, a good amount of songs. So we were going through it trying to combine, you know, get across the different vibes in, a, in the right way. So like the songs kind of blend. Okay. So the whole point of me coming up with the title was like, all right, we're gonna, take all the different vibes and the stories that I'm trying to tell and make them shorter into an EP, so, to make a long story short. <laughs> okay, okay. And so, what's next? We said the project, you say you're working on some collabs. Yeah, we Anything got- Anything else fans should be expecting? Um, right now, I would just say, you know, check out the videos. Um, the project's coming. The project should be out in August. Um, we shooting a bunch of videos. We got a bunch of videos coming out. Um, I'm still doing the battles, so make sure you check out them battles. It's lit. Okay. So tell people where to find you, where to find your music, all that stuff. Uh, you can just go on all streaming platforms, search Luke Castro. That's L-U-C-A-S-T-R-O.